Hey guys, welcome to Precision Machine Shed. Today what I've got going on is I got this big old four jaw chuck here that I've had forever. It's a four jaw scroll chuck and a faceplate. So this is a used faceplate, so what I'm gonna do, like many others that have come before me, slap this guy on here and uh, make this thing work again. So hang tight and let's get started. <clears throat> All right, don't mind the messy bench. So what I'm gonna do, I don't have, I've got telescoping gauges, but they don't really fit in there that great. <clears throat> and I'm sure there's a great way to do this, but I'm gonna do it with the old Starrett's, just micrometers. So I'm gonna come out and see widest point, and it comes back in, widest point. So I'm getting 4921. <clears throat> So I'm going to come over here with my nice little large calipers and make sure that that passes through there. And I'm just going to double check and see exactly how much room I got here. 950, so 30 thousandths approximately. I think that'll be pretty close. I'm not going to go down quite to this size. Maybe I might just hit this and this will be close and we can do our finishing cut test fit it. Alright, everything's set up here and I don't have to take a bunch off. I think I gotta take about 60 thousandths, 70, maybe 100 thousandths. So I'm just gonna take a bunch of light cuts and we're gonna speed through this as quickly as we can. There's a little inclusion right there. But I gotta cut up pretty good using high speed steel at a uh, lower RPM. I think I'm running uh, 150 RPM or something like that, maybe not quite that much, but we'll get going here and we'll start cutting. doing is my boss ended up being just a like a thousand or not even like a few ten thousands less than I wanted it to be my boss here so I ended up turning it down and turning it back and now I just took my first outside cut so I just marked it and I'm just gonna take a few more cuts and finish off the outside and then we'll take it over to the mill and I'm gonna clean this mess up and then we'll
here we are. Finally got the back plate put on. Uh, if you noticed, I didn't chamfer these. I didn't really see a reason. I could have did it on the back, but no big deal. Uh, that super indexer made pretty quick work of this thing, which was kind of cool. Other than uh, I had to switch my tooling up quite a bit because my little crossing, I am, I'm kind of limited. But it turned out really good. I'm pretty happy with it. Now I got my scroll four jaw. I got to clean it up a little here yet, but. And I'm not happy about this. These guys are sticking out a little bit. And I did countersink them uh, about 300 thousandths. But I didn't want to go up too deep because I don't have much of a plate here left. After I initially cut it and then I cut it back one more time because I didn't like the way it fit. So uh, should be all right. Usually I'd like these countersunk, but what do you do? Uh, yeah, so that's it. First, my first time putting on a back plate. Not a big, not a big chore, I guess. But it takes a little bit of time to do it right. And I did check this thing on my lathe after I spun it, or after I mounted it, I spun it, and I had uh, just under one one thousandths run out on the outside here. So I don't know how. I'm assuming these are pretty round, but um, and I checked my plate here and that had zero and I, I might have to cinch these guys down just a tad bit more and that might pull that some of that out of there but I think I'm pretty tight but uh, if I can get you know half a thousandths run out on the outside I should you know should be all right I'm not dialing anything pre, you know after you cut this it's not gonna be a big deal but here we go hope you guys enjoyed that and if you like that please be sure to like comment share and subscribe and, as always, stay safe on your machines and shoot safe. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.